Hey, Carmel Clay Parking Recreation. I am Brittany, the fitness supervisor here at the Monon Center. Um, I just want to start off by saying happy workout Wednesday. First of all, on behalf of myself, the instructors, and all of Carmel Clay Park, I know we miss you, but we are so happy you are tuning in to us, still staying accountable to your fitness goals and working out with us here on our Wednesdays. If you've not received our newsletters yet, make sure you check those out because we do have additional virtual classes and content coming your way. We have some more Facebook stuff we're going to provide to you next week. So um, stay in the loop. We want you to stay motivated. Um, I remembered yesterday that we are prepping for a water park season. So that is a great reason why we are here this morning working out. So keep that in mind. It's coming up soon after this quarantine. Um, and we're all excited about that for sure. So let's get started this morning. We have a cardio strength interval class that is going to be great to help when you get ready for that uh, water park opening. Okay, so here we go, guys. Start by marching it out right here. Take a nice deep breath, big inhale, and big exhale. And again, nice deep breath, take an inhale, just warm up your body this morning, and exhale. And one more time, big inhale, and exhale. We're gonna take it into a little modified jumping jack. So, we are gonna be doing minute long intervals this morning. Um, that in general is gonna keep your heart rate up, I'm gonna be showing you some modifications for this warm up that you can do. So one of our exercises is a jumping jack. This is gonna be a way to modify that. Good, keep breathing, you're here for five. Four more. Three, two, one more. Feet hip distance, we're going to squats, down and up. So this morning when we do our squat round, we're gonna be adding a knee lift like this. If you wanna stay here, low impact, just do squats, feel free to take that option, okay? Good, keep going every four more. Four, three, two, one more, jog it out in place. Take nice deep breaths, going into a little jog just to get that heart rate up a little more. Feel free to go back into that march. Good guys, you have five, four, three, alternating lunges. Step back with your right foot, then your left foot. So in our lunging sequence today, we're gonna be doing two lunges into a burpee. But just doing the lunges is still gonna be great for those legs, okay? Great for the legs, great for the core, still gonna get your heart rate up. Deep breaths, you have four, Three, two, and one. Go back into that jog. Good, nice deep breaths. Take it into a step tap. Little step tap. So we're gonna be doing skaters this morning as one of our cardio exercises. That's where you jump from one leg to the other, okay? But just taking it into a step tap will be your modified option. Already, I know you feel your heart rate coming up, those muscles warm, and how effective modifying can be. So, keep going, everybody. Here for four, three, two, and one. Just march it out for me. Take a nice deep breath. And big exhale. And again, nice deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. We have minute-long intervals. 15-second rest to get to the next movement. We're doing eight different exercises, three rounds. So guys, it's gonna be pretty intense. Heart rate's gonna stay up. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Grab your water. Keep it close by. Take breaks when you need it, okay? Here we go. First minute is a jumping jack. So full range is like this. Modified is like that. We're going in four, three, two, and here we go. Everybody start with your first minute. So I want you to focus on your breath right here. If it gets to be too much, maybe if your water close by, you have that modified option. Try to stick through this workout though for the full time. So if you need to take breaks, whenever you can get back into a different exercise or back into this one, that is my goal for you this morning, okay? We are all at different fitness levels. That is the beautiful thing about being a community. So many unique people and we all come together, okay? So this is that time we're coming together to get our heart rates up, to work, to sweat, to get stronger. Keep 
it up, Mama and Santa. You guys have 15 more seconds. Can you maybe go a little quicker? Maybe slow it down. Maybe modify, but don't bend those 15 seconds, okay? We're gonna get a quick little recovery. Here it comes in five, four, three, two, and rest. Start to set your feet up, hip distance apart. You only get 15 seconds to transition. We have a squat to a knee lift, okay? We're gonna start that in five seconds. If you wanna squat, just squat. Here we go, three, two, and go. One minute. Squat to knee lift. Keep your chest up, you're finding a little balance. You're squeezing your glute, using your oblique here. Big inhale, drop the hips. Big exhale, drive through your heels. Squeeze the glutes to the top. Like I said, we're going through a lot of endurance this morning just by doing these exercises for long durations and resting for very little time. Deep breath, inhale. You know your limits, sink as low as you can, but make sure regardless, your squat is coming from bending your knees. We're not just leaning over, okay? I'm gonna use leg strength, use core strength. Use breath, inhale down. Exhale, push. 10 more seconds right here. Keeping the weight in the heels. Feeling those glutes activate. Feeling that heart rate lift. You have four, three, two. And you only get 15 seconds to head down to your mat. Mountain climbers is next. Plank position, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Modified version, knees down, kickbacks, okay? If you're joining me for mountain climbers, lift your knees. Here we go in three, two, one minute, go. Knees to your chest. So it's a big heart rate spike here, okay guys? Make sure we are in plank. Notice my shoulders are over my wrist. I'm not in a down dog, okay? I need to use my core, my shoulders, my muscles to support me here. Take it to your knees if you need to go into your modified version, okay? Here we go guys, 30 more seconds, heart rate up. We're gonna hit outer thighs after this. Gaze should be down, abs should be tight, heart rate should be up. All good body signs, okay? Feel that burn, working for it this morning. You guys are almost there, last 10 seconds. You have four, three, two, and rest, 15 seconds to come on down for clamshell. So, come on to your elbow. What you're gonna do, you're gonna open that leg up and down. Lift your heels, starting a little clamshell. It's gonna be for the side glutes. A good stabilizing muscle, okay? Here we go, three, two, and lift and lower. Keep that side supported using just the side of the glutes. This is a little active recovery, meaning we're working our muscles. Not something that's going to really spike the heart rate up, so we can allow that to drop a little bit. And we can focus back on the breath. So as I mentioned, this is a stabilizing muscle group. That means it's one of our smaller, tinier muscle groups that help with day-to-day -day living things. So it helps support us for balancing. That could be walking up and down stairs, preventing falling, in general, one of those weaker muscles that we're gonna take some focus on today to make stronger. Good, 10 more seconds, everybody. Woo, start to feel that burn, like I said, like some good sunshine. It's coming for us, Indiana. You have four, three, two, and break. Take it to the other side. Balancing out that body with the other side. We start in five seconds. Heels up, abs tight, in three, two, here we go. Up and down. So like I said, today it's 60 seconds on, 15 seconds of recovery. So we're really pushing hard for a long duration and only getting a little bit of time, enough that we can kind of bring it down and recover, but not get a full rest. So we're getting that endurance aspect, even though a lot of these movements are lower impact. Okay, guys, stay engaged, stay focused, keep breathing here. 30 more seconds. 
feeling that fire right in that side hip and glute. Fifteen more seconds. And then we'll get up onto our feet during that 15 second break. We have skaters coming up next. We're almost through with round number one. We repeat all of this a total of three times. You have four, three, two, and rest. Come on up. Here we go, skaters. So remember our warm up. I showed you a low impact step tap option. If not, you're joining me for the full skater. One leg to the other, getting low. Here we go in three. Two, and skaters, everybody. Like you're skating from one side to the other side. Just gonna use a little ankle stability and balance, almost like a one leg squat. Fifteen and 45 seconds to go. Maybe you wanna try intervals of this. Maybe you try a few skaters, a few step taps, mixing it up. Testing that limit this morning, what's inside? Awesome job. If you know you're not feeling challenged, hit the ground, guys. Make it challenging for your legs. Like I said, we have people of all different levels tuning in right now. Keep going. 15 more seconds. Right here, right here. You got it. Bend lower. Can you push? Do you need that break? You have five, four, three, two, and rest. Next up is our lunge, lunge, burpee. Your option is to just lunge. If not, you're gonna add a burpee after those two lunges, okay? Here we go, guys. We start in four, three, two, and go. Lunge, lunge, option. You go into a burpee after that. Get right back up. You do not have to go with my pace. You can go faster, go faster. You know the movement. If you need to go slower, go slower. Deep breaths, keep your chest up. On those lunges, shoulders over your hips. Halfway everybody, 30 more seconds. Last 20 seconds. We are ending round number one with push-ups, okay? After round one, I'll give you your first water break. Keep it up. A solid minute of hard heart rate lifting work. Five, four, three, two, and head on down to your mat. We have push-ups for our final exercise of this round. Hands a little wider than your mat. You can be on your knees or your toes. Here we go, everybody, in four, three, two, 60 seconds of just push-ups. Inhale to lower down. Exhale to come back up. If you've got the version on your toes, take it here for your full 60. Maybe try 15 second intervals. One on your knees, one on your toes, one on your knees, one on your toes. When I raise hips down, full body lowers with you. 30 more seconds are right here, team. Gonna drive through those palms. Your chest lowers right between those thumbs. You have 15 more seconds. Three, inhale down. Exhale up, last five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it off, I'm giving you 60 seconds to grab your water. Take a quick second. We are going through all of that again. So here's our round two of three. This is where our body gets used to it and it's gonna start to burn it out even more, okay? So this is where we get some major caloric burn happening for our workout Wednesday morning. We'll be here for 30 more seconds. Let that heart rate come to a recovered place and we're gonna pick it back up. Good job, guys. Okay, here we go. In 15 seconds, we start all of that over. So it's going into that minute-long duration. We do everything for 60 seconds, only 15 seconds, to move right into our recovery. 
You know all the modifications and there's tons more. If you need to do anything for your body, listen to it, take breaks. But we're getting started with our jumping jacks or step out jacks in four, three, two, let's go. Here we go, 60 seconds are on our clock. So we're getting that heart rate back up. Maybe this is that time that you notice you can get your arms wider and bigger, your feet out even more. If you wanna add a cross into your legs, that'll get more inner thighs, make it fancy. I know a ton of our instructors do star jacks in their exercise classes. If maybe that's an option you wanna take this morning and you know what I'm talking about, do it. Woo, those are challenging. 30 more seconds. Yeah, remember, you're trying to focus on breathing too while you're doing this. So big inhale, big exhale, big inhales, big exhales. Keep pushing it. I'm working it hard, everybody. Beautiful Carmel Play community, you got this. 10 more seconds. This is where you push it. This is where we get those results, okay? We are not tired. We're getting stronger through all this. You have five, four, three, two, rest. You only have 15 seconds. Get ready for your squats. If you want the challenge, you go to a squat, knee lift. Here we go in four, three, two, and go down. Knee lift. Inhale down, exhale up. Good, again, you're really driving through that heel. You're keeping your chest up. You're squeezing your glutes. Your core is tight. If you've not done so already, your phone is away. You're trying to limit the distractions as much as possible. And you're just focusing on a little self-care, a little you time. A little how many limits can you push this morning time. You've got it, guys. 30 more seconds right here. Keep it up. Keep it up. We go to another nice heart rate lifting, a good spike of cardio in 15 seconds. We are down in mountain climbers, okay? Breathe. You have five, four, three, two, and rest. Head on down to your mat. Remember, mountain climbers are from a plank position or right here. A kickback would be a great low impact core stabilizing exercise, okay? Here we go, three, two, 60 seconds, it's right here. Palms are under your shoulders. I'm gonna give us a good stretch after this hard workout. It's gonna incorporate some yoga, meaning some down dogs. So right now, we are not with our hips in the air. We have them low. We have our core engaged properly. Keep breathing, every 30 seconds. Almost there, last 20 seconds. Again, your hips are low, your abs are tight. Drop the knees if you need to, but do not quit. You can do it, you can do it. I feel that burn in the shoulders and quads and core too. Woo! Five, four, three, two, and rest. Yes, so we get to lay down on our side. So come on to one side, heels up. Get ready for those clamshells in five, four, three, two, and here we go. Little clams up and down. Serious thing about glutes. Keep abs tight. You're also using your obliques right here, supporting underneath with those side abs. If you want to take it down, you can always go down too. If it's too much on that shoulder, definitely. Focus on how you can just work the side of those glutes. Keep breathing, inhale. Big exhale, drop your shoulders. Let out a little sigh. Focus on the side of your butt. Guys, give her 20 more seconds. You can do it. Can you lift your heels a little higher? Can you squeeze your glutes tighter to get that knee up? No wiggles in our hips, just muscle strength, okay? You got it, 10 more seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome work, let's head on over to the other side. Okay, we start that other side, balancing us out in five, four, remember heels up, sides up, three, 
two. Here we go, into that clamshell. Take a nice big inhale and exhale as we know it comes up next. We're back on our feet for a few rounds. But good news is we're almost through. We are over halfway through round number two, meaning we only have one more to go through round number three. Stick it through it, everybody. You can do it. You can do it. Exhale. Keep those heels squeezed tight. Lift it high. Squeeze those glutes. Keep your shoulder down. Awesome job. 15 more seconds right here. Big squeeze. We feel it together. Come on, come on. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Ooh, come back up to your feet. We are going in 10 seconds into those skaters. Right here is one option. Side to side from your feet is another option. Let's go in three, two, and here we go, everybody. Side to side. Good, using glutes, you're using ankle stability, a little balance, a lot of core. You're even gonna hit those inner thighs now that we just hit those outer thighs. And again, you know if you need one to take it into a step tap, take it right here. If you want to get lower, hit the floor. But make sure it comes from your legs. We are not leaning over in that position, okay? I'm right in that middle ground for everybody. Good, deep breath right here. Two more exercises to finish off round three after this. You get to 15 seconds. Push it right here. Maybe that's adding speed. Maybe that's taking it to low impact. So you can just finish off those last 10, okay? Whatever is for you, let's go. Four, three, two, rest. Get ready to go into your lunge, lunge, burpee, okay? Option to just lunge and not do the burpees is there. We start in four, three, two, here we go. Lunge and lunge and then big burpee. Awesome job, everybody. Keep it up. We're at the halfway point right here. 30 more seconds to go. Good. Last 15. Down. Down and back. Keep engaged. Seconds on, 
15 seconds recovery. You know your heart rate is up. You know those muscles are burning. This is the round where it's so much easier to say, now nah, I'm gonna give up. And we're gonna go the opposite direction. We're gonna say, yes I can, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna finish strong, okay? If you've not learned that yet during quarantine, that is a huge life lesson, okay? When things try to bring us down, we're gonna say, no, I'm going to rise above this, okay? That's what we're practicing in our body this morning. Rise above those challenges. 15 seconds, you're in it. Don't wait for it, just get at it in five. In four, let's go. Oh, you're all out jumping jacks. Give me your hardest in three, two, and let's go. All out, all out, right here. Good, good, good. Make this the most challenging part of your day. Can you do that? Can you be breathless? Can you say, oh my goodness. Good work, good work, right there, keep it up. Okay, coming together as a community, get stronger, to rise above, sticking through it. Just like that. Last 15, here we go, empty that tank, empty that tank, all out, all out. I'm gonna try to pick up my face a little bit, can you join me? Yes, three, down, knee lift, inhale, big exhale, big inhale. Just like that, down, lift and squeeze, squeeze those glutes. Still make sure we're focusing on form, okay? So when our body gets tired, it's easier to just wanna lean over here instead of bending your legs to squat. <clears throat> That's not gonna serve as a purpose. It's gonna make our back sore and tired. We want our glutes to look and feel strong. We want our legs to feel strong. We want to work our core, so that's why we want to do it with good form. You're almost there, 20 seconds. It's hitting a lot of great muscles. Squats, hitting those glutes and quads. Abs are tight. Our oblique is working to get that knee up. 10 seconds left. Go a little lower. Come on up for five, four, three, two, and rest. Hit the mat. We are going into our mountain climbers, everybody. Mountain climbers come in 10 seconds. Strong plank form, maybe that kickback, okay? You've seen that option twice, right here. Feel free to use it whenever. You start in three, two, and strong plank for those mountain climbers. Here we go, here we go. Palms under shoulders. Abs are staying tight. Good work, everybody. 15 seconds in. Let's push it for 45 seconds. Like you are running up a mountain right now. Let's go, let's go. Climb to the top of it. Close your eyes, dig deep. What would that feel like? 30 seconds right here. Come on, come on, you can do this, you can do this. Keep going. We're for 15 more seconds. Keep climbing. Push harder into your palms. Drop those shoulders. Squeeze those abs tighter. Knees are in, 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 in. Go, push, 10. Four, three, two. Take it down. Look at that clamshell. Woo, here we go. On your side. Breathe. Take a big inhale. You guys will get 10 more seconds, okay? Don't rush into it, you know it burns. Here we go, patience, lift those heels. Squeeze those abs, and we start. Now, full 60. If you started five seconds early, 10 seconds early, let me do a minute and 10 seconds, okay? Three. Woo! How are you feeling that burn? Round three, into that first 15 seconds. You can do this. Remember, you have to focus on your goals. Yesterday, I remember water park season coming up. I don't know about you, but that motivates me in this moment when it's burning. 30 more seconds. Woo, keep it up. Awesome job, guys, 15 more seconds. Those legs are lifted, those heels are squeezing, those abs are tight. You got this, 10 seconds left. Five. Four, 
three, two, and rest. Take it to the other side. We're gonna start in eight seconds. Yeah, if you start early, we're all gonna do 60 together. So any extra bonus work, that's on you. Here we go in three, two, and let's go. Let's go, let's go. Deep breaths. Big squeeze. Getting into that stabilizing muscle, that side glute. Good, I mean 30 more seconds right here. Heels high, abs stabilized and tight. Try not to bring unnecessary tension into our shoulders. It's all just here in those glutes. You guys are gonna do this for another 15 seconds. You got it. Deep breaths. Woo, keep pushing. Eight more seconds. You have five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on up to your feet. We are going into our skater side to side on one leg. You can do it as a hop. You can do it as a step touch, okay? Here we go, we're in that last round. We are on our final three exercises. Starting in three, two, and here we go. A little skater. Here's that point, can you get lower? Can you touch the ground? If you're touching the ground, I wanna still be able to see your heart, your eyes, your face, your smiles, okay? I don't want any of this. I want legs working. And if that's not your option today, here's a good one. Come up a little higher. Still work on those glutes. Still show me that smile, that face, that heart. And if you're right here, that is beautiful and great. And you're going to work hard, okay? Guys, you have 30 seconds. Wherever you're at, I want you to push it. Breathe. Woo! Feeling that burn in that body today. Workout Wednesday, we know where it's at, how to achieve it. Eight seconds left. Five, four, three, two, rest. Great job, 15 seconds, you want your lunge, lunge, burpee, okay? If you've not done the burpee round yet, maybe this is the round you're going to one. Maybe this is the round you need to modify because you're like, I made it to round three, okay? Let's go, do you in three, two, lunge, lunge, burpee, go, lunge. Lunge, burpee. Okay guys, second to last exercise. Before we get to just core. Big step, big step. Deep breaths, come on, come on. Okay guys, you have 15 more seconds. We go into our last exercise, it's push-ups, okay? In five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down to your mat for me. Get ready for push-ups. Last minute. Woo! Deep breaths, and we core tight. Let's go, finish this off strong. In four, three, two, and here we go. Bend, press. Abs tight. Close your eyes, dig deep. Can you get your chest to touch the floor? Can you push yourself to a new limit today? Great, 30 more seconds, everybody. Abs are tight. seconds left. We'll get that minute recovered before we go into some core, some meditation, some stretching. In five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, good 
Good job, guys. Grab your water. 60 seconds, we're gonna get ready for just abs and core. So just a little fun fact while we take our few second break here. So one of my fun things I've been doing is obviously I have more time to cook, to play around the kitchen, to focus on super healthy habits that are not just the workout part, but the total wellness part. So one thing I've been doing every day is been making nice, fresh flavored water. And this week I am putting cucumbers, limes, mint, and ginger in a big pitcher, filling it up with nice fresh water, and then I've been filling my water walls up with it daily. It tastes so good. So if you need a nice way to stay motivated, stay hydrated, because it's really easy to forget to get drink water, I don't know, at least it is for me, but that's a very important health habit. So maybe try flavoring your water. You put oranges, lemons, berries, grapefruits, anything in it. Super good. Okay, guys, let's work on core. Head onto your back for me. We are going to lie down. We're gonna start just a normal crunch right here. So on your feet down, don't worry. We're gonna be doing a lot of crunches, so I recommend staying right here. 30 seconds, standard crunch. Here we go. Big exhales. 30 seconds. You can have your hands behind your head. You can have them in front of you, reaching up. Just keep breathing. Big exhale, lift those shoulders. You're for 10 more seconds. You're gonna keep crunching, but you're gonna bring your knees to a tabletop, okay? In five, four, three, two. Now bring your knees to tabletop, keep crunching. Deep breaths, maybe you reach for those toes. Maybe a hand or two are behind your head. Squeeze your low back into the mat, feel the core. Knees are right over your hips, so you're a 90 degree of those legs. You guys have 10 seconds. Guess what? You're going to keep crunching. Your legs are going up to the ceiling. In five, four, three, two. Lift those legs up and crunch. Deep breath. Lift your shoulders. Here for 15 seconds. You're gonna join me in a seated position. We're gonna do Russian twists, okay? Give our obliques a little work, then we're gonna repeat this. You got it, three times, just like that other series. In four, three, two, come on up, and give me a Russian twist, up and over. You can have your heels up, or you can have them down on the ground. Rotate around your core. Deep breaths, 15 more seconds right here. And then we're going on to our back, everybody. We go into that crunch round. Round two of three. And five, four, three, two. And roll down with me. Here we go, we're gonna start in 15 seconds. I'm giving you that little recovery. Take a big inhale, take a big exhale. Glue your low back into the mat. Feel that contraction of your abs. Here we go, three, two, and we're on. Round two of three, back to crunches. Clear your shoulder blades off this mat right now, please. Look over your knees. Lift your chest up to the ceiling, okay? Like it's going up to the sky. Last eight seconds, get ready to bend your knees for tabletop crunches. In five, four, three, two, and bring those knees up, not just your head. Lift your whole upper back off this mat. 30 seconds, tabletop. If this is too much, take your feet back down, okay? We're progressing each round, so you never have to leave that initial place. Ten seconds, lift those legs. There we go, in five, four, three, two, lift your legs up. In 15 seconds, we go into our Russian twist. Last eight. Get ready, right, come up for that twist. In four, three, two, come on up, take a seat. Go up and over, a little twist. Keep 
Keep going, keep going. Up and over, up and over. Squeeze those legs, maybe drop those heels. You guys only in this for 15 more seconds. I know the abs are burning. Where's your mind? Where's your goal? Five, four, three, two, and rest. 15 seconds. Woo, come on back down. Here we go. Five seconds. 15 goes by quick. We're in there for our final round of crunches. In three, two, and go. Deep exhale. Awesome job, Barry. 10 more seconds right here. We're going to lift those knees if you'd like. Maybe try lifting one leg for 15 seconds and the other. If those abs are tired, modify, but do not quit. Let's go in four, three, two, lift the legs. Like I said, maybe just one leg right now, okay? I'll tell you when it's our 15 second mark. Three, two, if you have one leg up, switch those legs, okay? If not, keep both up. Last five, four, three, two, and legs straight in the air. Lift your shoulder blades. 20 more seconds. Maybe those feet are both back down. You can't keep your back on the mat. Bend the knees softly like one inch. 15 more seconds. Can you pick those shoulder blades up higher? Last five. Four, three, two, come on up, and let's go into Russian twist. Here we go, side to side. Good, every 15 more seconds. Deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Really rotate, really rotate, side to side. Using your core here. You have five. Four, three, two, and rest. We're gonna do one more exercise for 60 seconds, the plank jack, okay? So it's combining our core with a little bit of our cardio. Just like a jumping jack, you're gonna be popping your legs out and together, but you're gonna do it from a plank form, okay? You can still do the same modification of stepping one foot out and then the other foot out. Let's go. Find your plank, 60 seconds last of core in three, two, and here we go, out and in for that little plank jack. Make sure the shoulders are right under, on top of your wrist. Pop the legs out and in, out and in. Take it to a one leg step out if you need that version. Maybe just hold that plank, guys. We have 30 more seconds left. Good, out, in, out, in, come on, come on, the heart rate is spiking one more time. Whole body's working for us. 15 more seconds. Deep breath. We're gonna drop those knees in 10. In five, four, three, two, and rest. Take a deep breath, inhale your heart and chest up. Exhale, round, little cat cow stretch. Again, big inhale. Big exhale. One more time, big inhale. Big exhale. Step your feet back, but come into a downward facing dog. Pedal out one foot, pedal out the other foot. Take a deep breath, lift that right leg up and back in the air. And step that foot down, switch it out, lift your left leg up and back. And step it down. We're going to bring our right foot forward so you're in a low lunge. Right foot forward, left foot back, come into a low lunge. Maybe drop that back left knee and bring your hands on up. 
Take deep breaths. Remembering a part of fitness is not just how hard you can always push. We worked on all aspects of fitness today. We got in our cardio, we got in our strength, we got in our core and our flexibility. So all of those are benefit parts to creating balance in our body and our fitness. So it might be a nice uh, thing for you to do after this workout. If you want to create goals for cardio, strength, core, and flexibility, maybe that's doing a cardio workout two times a week. Maybe that's doing a strength workout two times a week. Maybe that's incorporating core. And then maybe you stretch five minutes a day or something. So saying how you can work all your different goals into your weekly schedule, setting your mind to it, that's definitely a great way to start that process. We hit all of them this morning, so good work. Deep breaths. Yeah, just think about a big inhale, filling you up. Just relax your big exhale, calming down the body, stretching out the muscles. I don't know about you, but I've been sitting a little extra watching some good movies, some good Netflixes. Hips are maybe feeling a little bit tighter, so this one really feels so good on those hip flexors, those muscles that get tight when we sometimes sit or maybe behind our desk or computer too long. So they're a good one. Good. Take a seat for me. We're gonna straighten out our left leg, cross your right foot over, and then take your left arm up. So left leg is out, left arm is up. We're gonna hook our left elbow to our right knee and just take a little twist here. Think about straightening your spine and looking at the back of the room. Take a nice deep breath in. And deep exhale out. Gently unroll, straighten your other leg. So this time your right leg is out, you're gonna cross your left leg over your right. Now lift your right arm up. So right arm out, right leg out. Take your right elbow to your left knee, you're gonna sit tall and cross. Sit tall to the spine, close your eyes, focus on a big inhale. Focus on a big exhale. And gently on the line. Straighten your legs out. Take a big inhale, reach your arms up, and then reach for your toes. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Just sigh. Feels weird at first, but then you notice how good it feels. So that is the benefit we want. The good feelings. Inhale. Big open mouth. Exhale. Just sigh. Let it go. One more time. Big inhale. And big exhale. Let it go. Good. Bring your hands to your heart center. Thank yourself for showing up this morning. Thank you guys for joining me. Happy workout Wednesday. Like I said, we are here for you. So in these comments or to my email, feel free to reach out for ways we can help you achieve your fitness. It might be wellness, any goals that you have over this quarantine time until we are back, until we are in our facility, um, we are still here for you. So let us know all that information um, and have a great rest of your week, everybody. Check your um, emails if you've not already received information on our virtual classes coming to Zoom next week. And um, a few more live Facebook events, more mindful meditation and deep stretching in addition to our workout Wednesday still. Have a great day.